place marriage in is. I went, there's what? It's not a real potato. A real flannel. I fucking love this flannel. You know how this thing looks? The ladies love it. A nice light blue flannel. You know what? That's because you're tougher than regular women. I bet you can pull the plow yourself. I was scared. I don't get scared of much. I was, I was like, man, this place is, uh, it's rowdy. I mean, it was good, but apparently we went to an off-limits venue. We had 40 people there, so it was uh, an incredible night. Even though from behind the curtain, all the meth heads were just still yelling. <laughs> And I knew I was a hillbilly by the time I was about six years old because my mom was in the kitchen cooking dinner. She said, boy, can you find me some oil? I said, yes, ma'am. You just tell me which country we got to invade. Aaron was a beautiful, innocent soul. Hey, Aaron, I got bad news for you, man. You can't uncook a steak, so you're screwed there. Aaron was a toothless meth head. And he had about, he had one tooth in the front. Then I think he was missing like two on one side and one on the other. And, uh, and he was triple fisted. Somehow he was holding three beers and drinking them all at the same time and talking to his buddy behind him the entire show. That's going to be me and Aaron behind the dumpster at night. I knocked the rest of them teeth out with my But you couldn't really fault him. He was having a, he was having a blast. He was loving it. He didn't know where the he was, okay, but he was loving it. Just another day on the flannel panel tour. <laughs>